So after my first night ever uh, sleeping in a hostel, we headed out into the cold wilderness of Munich. I would actually recommend that hostel. It's like hostel for you is the company that runs it. Uh, ideally located in Munich. Beds are decent, nicely equipped, and breakfast is complimentary. Can't complain. So we headed to the central station where we picked up a day ticket for the public transport. Nice value in Munich, I think it's like 660 or something like that for a day ticket. Well recommended. It's the only way I would travel and the only way I do travel on this trip. So we then headed out to the southwest of the city. For a specific purpose to start off our day, uh, this was about 9 o'clock in the morning, so it was actually reasonably quiet. So we ended up in this large plain, which doesn't look like much, and it looks sort of odd to be you know, near the city centre just of this large park not in this, but this is actually where the Oktoberfest is held. Obviously, it being January, there was you know, no fest, but it just shows you the scale of that whole thing. You could also see the cathedral then, in the city centre, which is huge. So, continuing to walk around this area, as we weren't just here to look at this big field, we then found the statue of Bavaria. Munich is actually the capital of Bavaria, and so has a large statue, with a sheep and a woman, as you do. That overlooks, in October, the massive drunkenness, sort of giving it the official drunkenness. Surrounded on three sides, the statue is this wall, which is the Bavarian Hall of Fame. So if you're sniffing a Bavarian, you get your bust put on it. Isn't that nice? So we saw that and headed back uh, to the U-Ben to head to another significant historical site in Munich. Of course, on the way we would have to switch from the U-Ben to the trams at the central station because I needed to freeze myself for another 10 minutes. But it was interesting here to see an advertisement for the man in the high castle, which has no swastikas on it, as that's illegal in Germany. So then we took the train from the tram from the central station, and we then ended up in the west of the city, where uh, we would then walk towards this bridge, and notice that the canals underneath the bridge were absolutely frozen solid, and see this castle then at the end. And let's look at all the people who have walked on the ice and nearly drowned. So anyway, we went and had a closer look at this large castle, which is huge. Not very thick, but quite long, and surrounds this massive circle uh, here. And all, I'm sure all these fountains look great in the summer, but at the moment they were frozen, and so was I. It was quite cold in Munich. <laughs> Not sure of temperature, but easy to say it was well below freezing. Anyway, we then took a, another tram from the castle to the Pitrel Ring, where we found the only stream in Munich that was not frozen solid. But then, more interestingly, we saw the headquarters of BMW. As we are now in the north side of the city, where you have the large BMW tower, which is quite distinctive, the BMW Welt, which is that black building over there, and that circle there, which is the BMW Museum, which we then went in and saw many things like uh, bikes, cars, aircraft engines, you know, the usual. The uh, museum more or less just tells the story of BMW, saw from the beginning with this six-cylinder aircraft engine, you know, to them building motorbikes, then going on to cars after the war, you know, and just showing many aspects of it, you know. It sort of starts off linearly, chronologically, and then focuses on specific things like, you know, their motorsports, different series of cars, their bikes, you know, even just all dedicated to their engines. And a whole line of three series, actually, as well. As well as how they design some concept cars, some showing off things. You know, a bit of flattery, self-praise and all of that. As well as some... Obviously, some historic cars. It's a museum, uh, after all. So this is quite nice, and definitely sort of a sort of something of a pilgrimage for me as a, you know, I'll throw it out there, I'm a fucking BMW fanboy. But <laughs> oh, it was a, it was a nice thing and good way to spend an hour or two in Munich. And you know, just as I said, 
brilliant for anyone with an interest in BMW to get all the random BMW tidbits as well as seeing a lot of BMWs. Well, including the fun fact that they actually built pots after World War II because of the peace agreements. So after the museum, we then headed across towards BMW Welt, which is essentially just a massive showroom next to the factory here in Munich, where if it's anything in the BMW group, you can buy it here and you can see it here. Naturally, overpriced as fuck, but quite impressive. I also got to see the current champion, I think, in DTM. The only problem with the building is that icebergs tend to fall off the roof, which is why you can't go around the edge of it. From here, we walk across the road to the Olympic Park, which is what the 1972 Olympics should have been remembered for. Unfortunately, they weren't. That's a different story. What well, we have here at the park, which is noted for its tent-like structures, made of glass, which are properly constructed to stop icebergs falling off them. It's also set in what is a lovely park, really, which I got to see a lot of. And it's also got the impressive stadi stadium with its tents, and it's actually quite big. Also, it features some ducks who managed to find a hole in the ice. From here, we got a tram back to the city center as we had some more exploring to do. The trams were, while a nice way to see Munich, quite slow uh, because of all the constant stopping and traffic and so forth, so I hopped onto a U-Bahn as quickly as I can, which was the exact opposite of the trams, in that you saw nothing but you got where you wanted to quite fast. And we appeared here at the end of the Maximilian at the capital of Bavaria, which is where the Bavarian parliament sits, or whatever sort of system they have for running the state of Bavaria. For if you didn't know, Germany is split up in different states, and, well, we were at the capital of one of them. So we continue down the Maximilian, which is the Royal Street, which features ornate buildings and copper statues that have been turned into tram stations. And, as I was called, having lost my hat, we, I hopped on a tram to see it, seeing the Opera House there, and more palaces uh, of the princes of Bavaria, and a statue of a guy in a chair, because that's what you need in life. Getting out at the uh, Karlplatz, which is, there's the courthouse, and which is a sort of square with shops, and this archway, which then leads to the shopping quarter of Munich, it's just showing how cold it is. And a man on a plank, for some reason. Continue down the street brings us to Marienplatz, with the Munich ta Town Hall here. And in that tower, it contains the glockenspiel, which chimes at 11 and 12, and 5 o'clock in the summer. And essentially, it's a show, so in the story of, I don't know, several things. I didn't get to see it, because I was too busy in BMW at the time that it actually went off. But I was also freezing to death, so I bailed the U-Ban, and went to see the Allen Serena. Not originally planned, but I thought it might as well. If you're wondering what it is, that's the home of Bayern Munich. Also got to see this train depot, which is, I don't know, the main thing I took away from it really. Apart from that Germans like big white stadiums. Seems to be a thing around here. So from the arena we then headed back to the central station, where I got another Burger King. Unfortunately I never took a picture of that, I realise now. But rest assured it was the exact same that I ate yesterday, because, you know, Friday. So we took this ice to Stuttgart, our next city that we would be seeing tomorrow. Munich was a nice city. I uh, surprised I actually got a lot of it done in a day. It's I think it's the only city from this trip that I would actually want to come back to. Uh, sort of finish off some things around the Munich area, and then maybe move on to somewhere else. I know in Austria, or maybe see what the hell Liechtenstein is. So yeah, Munich I recommend, I quite liked it, obviously it was nice for me to make the pilgrimage to BMW and the Olympic Park, which has been something I've always wanted to see, always liked it, you know, heard about this crazy Olympic Stadium, <laughs> but I would probably come back in the summer, so I don't, you know, nearly freeze to death all the time. Uh, Oktoberfest is probably good fun as well, and yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow, when we see what the hell Stuttgart is?